Hey guys, it's Jazz here from jazzvg.com and youtube.com forward slash jazzvng. Uh, I'm here with another Photoshop tutorial, this one on simple animated GIFs. Um, GIFs are photos, images, it's a, an image file type that you can use for animations or for uh, images with, that you want with transparency. Normally they're used for graphics and not photographs, so this is just on simple animated GIFs. What I'm going to show you how to make is a simple animation such as this one that you see here so I'm just gonna press play and it's basically a bouncing ball that's it so let's close out this and minimize this and we're making a new file and width 200 to height 700 that's about good hit ok sorry that's the phone in the back and uh, then we're going to drag out our elliptical marquee tool on a new layer of course and uh, make a circle just like that, and I'll fill it with my, whoops, don't want a feather, let's turn a feather down, and I'll fill it with our background color, and give it a gradient overlay. So to give it a gradient overlay, we're going to double click on here, and it'll bring up our layer styles dialog box, and uh, just like we did in the Photoshop sticker icon, we're using layer styles. So we're going to hit gradient overlay, and I'll scroll down, give it the same gradient as the um, Photoshop sticker and maybe give it a bit of an angle see what radiant radial and first maybe that looks pretty good I think so alright so let's hit OK then we're going to make a new layer behind this so to make a new layer behind it we're going to hit command and then press the new layer button right down here. So command, click. Actually, let's name this layer first. Call it ball. Then we'll call this layer, the new layer that we just created, floor. And yep, you guessed it. We're just going to make a simple floor. So let's take our marquee tool again, our rectangular marquee tool. Just drag from out of the, uh, out of the document to in and just fill it again. And we'll also give this a gradient overlay. Just a simple one, dark gray to a lighter gray. So let's take our, well, both lighter grays, but one's darker. So let's get a darker gray and a lighter gray. So that's about good. Let's hit reverse on that. Cool, looking good. So let's bring our ball all the way down here. So it's sort of overlapping. And let's center this, yep. Then we're going to bring up a new dialog that you probably haven't used. If you've used animation, then you have definitely used this, but if not, then this will be new to you. So we're going to go up to our menu bar here, and we're going to hit Window. And some computers are weird, mine is weird. And you'll have to click Show All Menu Items at the bottom, and then you're going to hit Animation. And this will bring up this box, and if you're on, if it looks something like this, don't worry, just click this box this button in the bottom right it'll bring it back to thumbnail view so I'm just gonna bring my window down a bit and then this is our so this is our animation timeline so we have different we'll have different thumbnails of the different uh, frames they'll be equivalent to different frames so down here below the first thumbnail I'm gonna select no delay I'm gonna click on where it says 10 seconds and select no delay and this will make it so that it's a smooth animation there's no not really any time in between and uh, I'm gonna change our loop this is our loop where it says once and I'm just gonna click and hit forever now what I'm gonna do is click duplicate selected frames actually let's move our ball to the top first because we want it to start falling from the top so then we'll go duplicate selected frames and we can move it to the bottom. Actually, let's not do that first. So first what we're going to do is we can just keep doing new frames, keep moving this down, just like so. And this will make it fall like that. But if we want an even smoother one, let's select these, drag it to the trash. Then we'll just duplicate this layer. And then we can move this all the way to the bottom, just like I'm doing right now. So move it to the bottom, sort of overlapping like we did before. Then we're going to select both of these 
and we're going to click this button which is the tweens animation frames and uh it does the same thing as I'm going to show you in a uh, flash tutorial that I'll post probably tomorrow or maybe yeah probably tomorrow or maybe later in the week and creates it calculates what all the frames will be in between so we only have to create the first and the last frame or in our case first middle and last because you'll see we're going to make it bounce up and down so then we'll hit we're going to hit tweens animation frames and tween with selection frames to add i'm going to add say 20 frames to give us a nice selected uh selected sorry a nice smooth animation and leave all this checked layers all layers parameters position opacity effects and we're going to hit OK. And you see it'll create all these frames for us. So we don't have to do the tedious work of moving it down, clicking new frame, moving it down, clicking new frame. And then we're going to duplicate this next layer, the last layer that we have. Again, and we're going to move this back up to the top. Or just one thing from the top. So that you'll see, since we're looping it, we want it one thing from the top so that it doesn't sort of stop at the top and then we're going to select both of these frames and do tweens animation frames again click this button and tween the selection frames to add 19 this time since we moved it one from the top the one that we the one that's at the top is going to be at the beginning you'll see in a minute so then once we click play since we have our loop set to forever so we'll start on the first frame once we hit play it bounces up and down and as you can see, we don't need a frame since it bounces. Since we set it to bounce down and then bounce back up, we don't need a last frame at the very top since we set it to loop. Because the last frame will just be this one, or the last frame is this. But if we had it as the uh, at the very top, then it would give us a little bit of pause, and we don't want that. So. Uh, that's basically our animation and uh, you can also play with opacity you can I believe there's not much you can animate you can't animate shape I'll teach you how to do that in flash in my next tutorial but you can animate opacity and it's very cool you can animate lots of stuff and uh, you can create some pretty cool stuff if you have flash and not or if you have Photoshop and not flash so uh, yeah so we're, we're gonna save this at we're gonna hit file save for web and devices and we want to go preset gif 128 no dither usually works best for web images or sorry gif 128 no dither works best for web images and we're gonna there we have 42 frames as you can see down here and we're gonna go if this isn't on the number one then we're gonna press this button select first frame and we can preview our animation this is this is what it's gonna look like and then we'll go back to our first frame and uh, that's all good. Image size, you can change it if you want. I'm not going to. Looping options forever. We want to make it loop forever. And then we can hit save. And I'll just save this to my desktop. Bouncy ball. And hit save. It saves it. Let's minimize it. To our desktop. And uh, let's bring over a Firefox window here. And we can make this a little smaller and then just drag our image over from the desktop and if you embed it in a website this is exactly how it'll look I'm not sure if it's if there's a difference between Safari maybe it makes it faster whatever but this is basically what it'll look like and so as you can see it doesn't really look best for straight animations but if you have something like a logo that you want to be um, that you want animated or simple loading bars work it works really well for loading bars then this tutorial is very useful for you so thanks for watching and uh, definitely check out some of my other tutorials i'll be posting many more soon and uh yeah thanks for watching follow me on twitter for exclusive content blog posts updates stuff like that uh twitter.com forward slash giles van grayson thanks for watching